What up, Shy Town? How you doing? Jay Smalls here. Peace to everybody. Want to get into a little baseball talk? And for all you fantasy fans, sorry, Clayton Kershaw. Ouch. He is out for uh, three, four weeks, I believe, here, which is a load of BS if you anybody's ever listened to anything or had any kind of injury with their back. It's going to take some time for him to come back. And just conveniently signing that very large contract, he is definitely coming out on top here. So that's, that's scary anytime you get into signing a pitcher for such a long-term deal. You know, give him his money. But make it shorter term. There's so many injuries. I mean, the natural throwing motion just is not made for the arm. That's why women pitchers can pitch all the time because they pitch underhanded. But, you know, it's just it's, it's ridiculous. Now, with that being said, the, the, the Dodgers are going to be in a lot of trouble here going into against the uh, San Francisco Giants. San Francisco has that ring under their belt. They have that swagger. They have a very healthy team coming back. I believe they shored up their pitching staff uh, to just straight up dominate. So that's going to be very, very interesting to see. Going into those teams, you have St. Louis and Tampa Bay, who are just juggernauts of winning baseball games. Those are going to be the cream of the crop as far as you're talking uh, AL, NL teams. Then... You have the Dodgers sprinkled in, who can be an X factor, but the Giants really, I think, surplant them. And they, you'll see that as the season goes on. As a whole 162, you have to realize it's going to take some time here to get things gelling, especially teams like Detroit, who are going to be trying to find themselves, but who are going to have a great year. The, this team right here, the Chicago White Sox, very key, just because we have such a good pitching staff. If we can get some good offense going, and our defense is there, we are going to be dangerous. So we're one to know so far to start the season, but that's it after having Chris Pay or Chris Sale pitching for you. So uh, you're usually going to win most of those games if you get any runs. Now you have Jose Quintana pitching, so that's going to be a nice add. Uh, here, just because I think he's the most undervalued and underappreciated pitcher in, in Major League Baseball. Some of his numbers up there are up there with Clayton Kershaw in, in, as far as efficiency. And he just had no offensive support. So how are you going to be able to do anything? It's just, it, it, I don't know. Going back into Kershaw, you, you had to pay some money for him, but the long-term part of the contract just kills me. He is Sandy Koufax, hopefully, of the new era. But if he comes, this back, back problems, well, they will injure and they will linger for a very, very, very long time. Especially as a pitcher. So, with that being said, it's going to be interesting seeing here. You have X-Factors like the Angels. Uh, Oak, uh, Oakland's going to be very good. The Nationals. I think Texas is actually on a downside. The Rangers. I just don't, I just see the regression continuing to happen. And then, I don't know, I just think the White Sox are a big wild card. Atlanta should have another strong year as well, as we'll see. The Cubs are going to be horrid, but they do have some good young talent coming up. So they will be relevant soon enough. But thanks for joining, Jay Smalls. Hopefully I got the shave all nice and tight. Oh, yeah, very tight. Well, thanks for joining me. Go White Sox. All right, and Clayton Kershaw, hopefully that, uh, oh no, it's the left arm. Uh, hopefully that left arm's going to be all right for you. But if not, you're going to be just chilling on the DL making mills, so it's going to be all good for you anyway. So Cerebral Sports, hit us up. Thank you, Jay Smalls. Peace, everybody.